All right. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, again, we're just going to apply the power to product, power to quotient rules, which basically just tell us to apply that exponent or that power to every single term. So Austin is basically just going to look like this. 12 to the 1 half times x to the 8th to the 1 half all over 75 to the 1 half times y to the 10th to the 1 half. Now, these, again, for numbers, I would probably write these as radicals to kind of help us you know, determine, um, to simplify those. And then here, remember, whenever we raise a po uh, an exponent <laughs> raised to a power, you multiply the powers. So here I have the square root of 12 times x to the fourth divided by the square root of 75 times y to the fifth. Now, lastly, last thing we want to do is obviously be able to see if we can divide out our fractions. Now, obviously, you could simplify both these fractions. But remember what we talked about last class period. If you have 12 to our square root of 12 over the square root of 75, that's equal to the square root of 12 over 75. So basically, I just want to see, can I be able to, can I, can I simplify um, 3 over, or I'm sorry, 12 over 75. And I notice that I do have a common factor of 3. Ah. 3 goes into 12 4 times. And 3 goes into 75 25 times. Now this makes a lot more sense. I can now think about it like this. That's really the same thing as, now I can take it back into the square roots. Just, this just helps me think, you don't have to do this, but this helps me say, oh, square root of 4 is 2, and square root of 25 is 5. So your final answer is going to be 2 x to the fourth over 5 y to the fifth is your final answer.